Welcome to the homework for Lesson 12. This is Module 4 of Grade 2. Write your name first. And this says use place value disks to solve each problem. Rewrite the problem vertically and record each step as shown in the example. So when you do this vertically, you have to have these little marks. These are called crutch marks. You have to have those. Otherwise, you're just you're not really doing it vertically. You really have to show the record each step. You have to show those. <clears throat> so the first one is done as an example. 41, we'll do 41 minus 16. So here it is. Tens and ones. 41 is 1, 2, 3, 4 tens and a 1. 16, we can't cross out six ones, so we have to unbundle a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we can cross out six ones. We have five, and we need to cross out a, a 10, because we're subtracting 16. We have 25 left. Doing this vertically, our minuend is 41. Subtrahend is 16. We're going to circle our minuend. And this trick is something that really helps you not subtract up, which is the number one mistake made by second graders when they first do vertical subtraction. And it's the number one mistake made by third graders too is to subtract up, which means you forget that what you have is 1-1 one, one, and you're subtracting six ones. And instead, you'll, t you'll <laughs> pretend that you have six and you're subtracting one. So in some, instead of subtracting one minus six, you'll be subtracting six minus one. You can see what you have to do. You have to unbundle a 10 to do this. So you can't You'll see what happens. If you subtract 6 minus 1, you'll have 5. And if you subtract 4 minus 1, see that's subtracting up 6 minus 1. You should subtract down 4 minus 1. This is what you're subtracting. You're subtracting a 10. You're subtracting 6 ones. You're not subtracting this up here. You'll end with 35 instead of 25 if you subtract up. So don't subtract up. All right, so we have to mm, unbundle one of these tens, which means we'll only have three tens left, just as we did in our picture. And then we'll have ten more ones, which with the one that we already had, meant we had, gives us eleven ones. Now we can subtract. Eleven minus six is five, and three minus one is two for twenty-five. Thirty-three minus fifteen. Tens and ones. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can't subtract five ones, so we have to unbundle a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we can subtract five ones and a ten, and we have a ten and eight ones left. If we do this vertically, Subtract our menu and give us plenty of room up above because we're going to need it. 3 minus 5. We can't do that, so we have to unbundle one of our 10s, just like we did here in the picture. We'll have two 10s left when we do that. And then we get 10 more 1s for it. So 10 and that 3, 13. That's 13 ones. So now we have 13 minus 5. That's 8. And 2 minus 1 is 1, 18. 46 minus 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can't subtract 8 ones from 6 ones. So we have to unbundle a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can subtract 8 tens. And I still have to subtract 
I mean, eight ones, I mean, <laughs> they're subtracting eight ones, and now I can subtract my one ten, and I have two, this was six, seven, eight, 28 left, right, for tens and ones. So vertically, this is going to look like, and give yourself plenty of room above, because you're going to need it for this vertical subtraction. Big circle up here, so we have plenty of room above. Have to unbundle a 10, which left me with 3. And then 10 more ones, so 10 and 6 is 16. I'll have 16 ones. 16 minus 8 I can do, that's 8. And 3 minus 1 is 2. 62 minus 27. We've got 10s and 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2 ones. Now I can't subtract, can't cross out 7 ones, so I gotta unbundle a 10. That gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones. Now I can subtract 7 ones and 2 tens. Leaves me with three tens and one, two, three, four, five, ones, thirty-five. Sixty-two minus twenty-seven. Big circle up here, so I got plenty of room above. Just like here, I have to unbundle a ten. That gives me five tens left. And this Two, I won't have two ones anymore, now I'll have 12 ones. And now I can subtract 12 minus 7. That's 5, and 5 minus 2, that's 3, 35, and it, there we go. 81 minus 34, tens and ones. 81 is 10, 8 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a 1 can't subtract four ones from one one I have to break up a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'll do this one just a little bit differently so you can see the process, how it kind of parallels between the two. Big circle for my menu end. So here's what we did, right? We had to unbundle one of these tens. How many tens are left now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven tens left. And how many ones do I have now? I have these ten and one more, eleven. And now I can cross out four ones. And I have seven left, right? Five, six, seven. And I can cross out three tens. One, two, three, and I have four tens left. Seven minus three is four. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Some first and second grade students voted on their favorite drink. The table shows the number of votes for each drink. Looks like, hmm... How many more students voted for fruit punch than for milk? So fruit punch is more popular than milk. F for fruit punch, M for milk. The milk was 28. The fruit punch is 37 votes. And we need to find the difference between the two. You need something here, right? That's the more. Right. Now you need uh, either a labeled tape diagram, a tape diagram like this, or a labeled number bond. You need some kind of a picture. It's a word problem. You've got to draw some kind of a picture. So that's our plan. 37 minus 28, and we show our work. Now, you can do the vertical method here if you want. You could use the arrow way. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. Um, this 7 
ones taking away eight ones there's no like really easy mental method that I can see here except this is a minus eight and we could think of we could do this if you wanted to do something besides vertical subtraction you could think of 37 minus 30 which would be 7 and then add the 2 back which would give us 9 it's kind of a arrow arrow way you could also use tape diagram to show this subtraction um, 9 more voted for punch how many more students voted for orange juice than grape juice show your work so orange juice is more it says how many more so orange juice is more OJ and then there's grape juice GJ is going to be less because if orange juice is more grape juice is less orange juice was 44 grape juice 16 and this here is the more So I'm going to use the vertical method for this. 44. Right, let's write a number sentence. Minus the 16. Just to model this as much as I can. The breakup. I can't subtract six ones from four ones, so I have to break up a 10. I'll have three tens left. Now I'll have ten more ones. So now instead of four ones, I'll have fourteen ones. Fourteen minus six is eight, and three minus one is two. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight more students. voted for OJ how many fewer students voted for apple juice than for milk so if fewer voted for apple juice than more voted for milk so here's milk and here's apple juice so how many voted for milk 28 and apple juice was 19. AJ, 19. The difference between the two. This is like the 19. This is really easy to do mentally. So just for, but you have to show your work, which means you're going to have to write it down air away or vertical method or, um, tape diagram subtraction or uh, a, a tens and ones chart lots of different ways you can show your work here Twenty-eight, nineteen. if I add one to both then I have 29 And 20 so 29 we, we need 28 let me start over here 28 minus 19 and you don't have to use this tape diagram method you really don't I just gave you a list of all different ways so many different ways you could do this and, and show your work ways to show your work 
28 minus 19 is the same as 29 minus 20, which equals 9. 9 fewer students. Voted for. Milk.